They got uh, they got women politicians. You go to court, women judges. And then in the household, there's no fathers in the house no more. It's all women running the household. So you have women's in that position of power right now. They'll get you for child support. They'll, they'll commit adultery on you, leave you. Then you gotta pay child support because she committed adultery. And then if you don't pay, you going to jail, getting locked up. I don't know if I've seen anybody see it, but the other day, this woman killed her killers and buried in the neighbor's house. Oh, I saw, I seen that. Yeah, they did. They got more stories like, so, why she, uh, I heard this, I was watching Tony, uh, what's his name, uh, Thomas, or the He covered it one story, a woman went out clubbing, left all of her kids at home. She came home and found one of them in the oven. Oh. One, one of the little boys took the baby and cooked it in the oven. When the Lord flooded the earth and killed everybody,
the list of certain things that we can't stand, like adultery. Yep. You know, adultery. Um, your best friend, you got a fine ass boy. Even if she's ugly, your boy don't want her anyway. And then he'll steal her, then he'll make a rap song about it. I'm yeah. fucking your bitch. Oh, you know what I mean? Everybody's going to tell you that. Everybody's gonna tell you that. And he'll, 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 you know, he'll sing about it in triumph. Right. That he got your, your woman. That's what they do. First chance they get, man. I, I got a scripture for you, too. You say about the Lord. Uh, uh, check this out. Uh, John 3 and 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So, yeah, if you don't, if you don't believe in the Lord, and you never follow the Lord, you're condemned, bro. So, that's why the Lord, that's why all people don't matter. You know what I'm saying? The Lord, if you want to destroy two-thirds of his own people. To Jesus, when he was crucified, all lives matter, not the black lives. All lives matter. The Lord just read it though. He said, "If you don't believe in the, in the name of the Son of God, then you condemn." Right. Does that mean that you matter at that point? Boy, well, actually, actually, black lives matter. Well, the Lord didn't come to save black people. He came to save everybody. No, he's come to save. Oh, he did. How did he come to save everybody if he condemned some people? Well, where's that scripture? He's gonna save everybody. Yeah, let me see that scripture. Uh, let me get a reference. I'm gonna highlight it with my mark. Well, I got some. Right, right. I'm gonna share it up with my friend. What's up, man? Let's go back. Can you tell John 316? Matthew! <laughs> Excuse me. Matthew's 10 and 5. These 12, uh -oh. the Lord sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Samaritans are heathens. Go ahead. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's who the Lord came for, is the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's it. This is going right here. This is the lost sheep of the house of Israel right here. You know them bastards that George stay in Mexico, they ain't the Israelites. George Burns? Them is right. Are you asking me or are you telling me? No, I'm asking you. It sure looks like it. Where? That's a Henry Kissinger. That's a uh, and that fake Jew devil. He, uh, I don't think he was a pillar of righteousness. Yeah, of course not. That's He's an Edomite. He's an Edomite. But who are we to judge? Maybe they uh, maybe they called on the name of the Lord. Hey, not, they're calling on the name of Satan. We, no. don't, we don't know. We, well, do, we, know. Know. we, we know. do know. We know. You don't know. Well, we maybe, know. maybe when they died, they called upon there's, Jesus. There's no salvation for none of those devils. Those are not even the Lord's people. Those are the Hebrew Edomites. Yeah. Don't you know about Esau? Yeah, I've heard of him. But, uh, There's no repentance for Esau. Esau is going to go into slavery, and then he's going to be totally destroyed. I got the Lord does say the Bible. I got another one for you. Me? Yeah, oh, we, yeah. I mean, yeah. We just kicked in the scripture for Oh, yeah. Uh, this is Matthew 15 and 23. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came to the song and saying, Send her away, for she cried after her. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeah, so the Lord's only coming for Israel. He ain't coming to save Edomites. That's crazy as hell. That don't even make no sense. Why would the Lord come to save people who terrorize the whole planet? <laughs> he's coming to save us from them. You know what I mean? What does it mean to get saved? He's coming to save us from the Edomites. The, the, the Lord gave Esau to this world. It's this world that the fatness of the earth was Esau's inheritance. You can read about Esau's inheritance in Genesis 27. Well, it's it, only our people that's in the world. I have a question for you. Uh, Pastor, at the bottom, also the Irish. Yes, sir. 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 What information do you have on the Scottish that allegedly descended from the Lord? Well, the word Scott itself means the same thing as who 
more. More just means dark skin, okay? So Scott means black. Alright, it means dark skin. Because you had Israelites who was living all 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 through Europe, actually. All Scotland. Yeah, they had a Hebrew have Hebrew interpreters. They took a lot of the slaves back over there. Yeah. Well, the Scots, uh, I can some information. The Scots and the Irish brothers are Celts. Now, the, the, another word for Celt is the Gauls. Now, that's why you got a book in the Bible called the Book of Galatians. Okay. Okay, so he was, the, the church in Galatia was a, a, a Celtic community, and it was all Israelites. That's why there's a, the Paul was writing letters to them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The teacher. So they, there's his fellow Israelite brother. So yeah, good scatter. And most people don't know about these mysteries in the Bible. Like you said, the Lord scattered Israel among all nations. So okay. some of Israel is actually looking like the other nations. Yeah. You know? Because originally we was all dark skinned people. Okay. What are you? What's your nationality? Scottish. You're Scottish? Yeah. So you could be a you know, oh like they would do the same thing. Because if you're not, you're going to slave. Yeah, that's if you're not descended from the Okay, so, a lot of just because you look white don't mean you're not. You know, this is what people don't understand. So, yeah. Yeah. We can be actual brothers. You know? The skin yeah. color does not determine nationality. That's right. So about all cousins. Yeah. Well, yeah. well mitochondria DNA. Brother. Oh yeah, mitochondria means the DNA of the mother. Yes. Mitochondria means mother. Yeah. So DNA, you are who your father is. Your nationality is determined by the seed of your father. You know what I mean? Now, the interesting the story that I heard on this, I've been reading it a little bit, is that the, uh, the Celts served as mercenaries uh, pretty much throughout the known world back in the very early days. They fought with Hannibal. Yep. And some of them actually got as far as the Holy Land. Oh, yeah. Well, that's where they came from. No, they, they, they came from uh, Germany beyond the... Uh, well, I'm talking about originally because they're Israelites. The, you know the word for uh, the ancient word for uh, Ireland. You know the ancient word for Ireland. Scotia. Well, I'm talking about Ireland. The island is high. Oh, uh, yeah, Hibernia. Okay. It comes from the word Hebrew. Okay. okay. But the story I've got is that there are a group of the world that worked as mercenaries for the uh, Phoenicians. And right, they through, did. Through the Phoenicians, they learned how to sail. And then when whatever war they were fighting ended, they drifted back up into the Mediterranean. And uh, they, pr they proceeded to uh, uh, carry their, their trade of pillaging uh, to the uh, the other Gauls in the, uh, the Mediterranean area. And uh, finally they had enough of them, and uh, they, they expelled them from that region. And they were called the Scotia. Which was the ancient Celtic word for uh, thief, basically. Ah, and so, uh, there you well, go. When they went to Ireland, uh, they fought off the indigenous inhabitants and established a kingdom there. But the land was sufficiently rich that as population pressure grew uh, in Europe, uh, other Celts started coming there. And they gradually got shoved north into Ireland until they crossed over uh, into Scotland. And they gave their name then to Scotland. They, really, the Picts were living up in uh, Scotland. They were in the Lowlands. Yeah, that, that is where the original Scotia ended up. Uh, they they fought a war to a tie with the Picts and uh, basically merged. And like you said, it was selling with the Phoenicians. You know, like the the Celts that worked for Hannibal. But you had a yeah. large Israelite community in uh, Carthage. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, he got the same skills on the right side. So there's a lot of mysteries you know, that we had okay. that we told. Now, no, another question. And a lot of people say there's a big link between you know the Celtic uh, language and Hebrew. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. uh, well, the, the stone of Scone that the, uh, oh, yeah, the English monarchs are uh, uh, coronated on and yeah. have been for God knows a thousand years, uh, that was originally brought by the Scottish people from uh, the Holy Land to uh, Scott. Right. They yeah. said it was Jacob's pillow. Yeah. See that? That tells you there's all that 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 link going back to to Israel. See that? Yeah. That's Just, fascinating. Is your boy? Now, I have a question for you. You can right. your Bible out.
heathens, but the period of the Jews that have strayed from the battle of righteousness. But where is that? What? what? Actually, what the, uh, he read the scripture in uh, Matthew 10 where they go not to the uh, uh, But our people are scattered among the heathens. You know what I mean? This is our Deuteronomy 28 verse 6. Oh, like the Celtics, they started uh, having a festival of Sam Hain. They got the, what's that, Crom Cork? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Yeah. You know, they were worshiping all these uh, false gods. Yeah. That's part of the curses. You know? I got a precept for you. Uh, Tobit 13 and 3. Confess them before the Gentiles. Ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. Just like in the end of Matthew, what did the Lord said, teach the gospel to all nations. Because our people scattered there. Check out, he gives an example. Look at the actual name, places. Okay. I'm uh, saying, let the uh, love it. Let it I'm sorry, Tim. And in that day, there shall be a group of Jesuits which shall stand for the inside of the people. To which shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be in the Lord. And it shall come to pass in that day. That the Lord shall set his hand against the Lord again the second time to recover the of his people from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pedro and from Cush and from Shiva and from Shinar and from Kingdom of Bactria. Nobody, nobody, Kingdom of Bactria. 
When Alexander the Great passed, he, he left the four successor kingdoms in those four years. And the Seleucid, you know, had control of Syria. Yeah. Ptolemy had Egypt. But there was a, out, uh, a way far distant kingdom, that, you know, called the Kingdom of Bactria, which is a Hellenistic kingdom, you know, going as far reaches as Afghan Afghanistan, even going into China. But that's where the, the, the art, the, you know, you've seen the Buddha statues, right? Yeah. The Buddha statues that we see today are based on Hellenistic art. Now, that's the result of the Greeks going over there. That's why the Buddha resembles Apollo. It looks like Apollo or Athena. You know, that's, that's because there was long, going back thousands of years, there's even Greeks going over there having sex with the women in the Far East. Now, I'm an old soldier, so I spent some time around the world. One of those trips I got to Bangkok. Oh, yeah, and, uh, I, I, I toured the, uh, the holy sites in Bangkok. The oh, yeah. Sites, uh, the, the sitting Buddha, the reclining Buddha, and that, and uh, saw them in person. Uh, and they don't look anything like Greek art. Well, I'm talking about the, the popularized Buddha statues. Okay. okay I, I've been to Thailand also. I've seen the Buddha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, he's probably. That's all that there is in Thailand. Of course, they keep on Armed Forces Radio every day at noon. They play Thai bingo. If you have had contact with and read off a series of numbers, oh, well, they see your unit medic. No, when you go to Thailand, it's pretty much just one. But that's more proof of how our seed gets that scattered. All people go to Thailand, the service, they have sex with all those women. Some of those women are getting pregnant. And then they're going to grow up thinking that they're tied. You know? In the Philippines especially, yeah. Philippines, Thailand. I'm going to, yeah. Especially the women I've seen have been the uh, Thai, European mixes. Uh, Australia and New Zealand is particularly uh, Australia. in there a lot. I wish I would have went to Australia. Yeah, I went to Thailand. I was at Patty and Beach. Yeah, the painter right now is all those bitches on the side of the table. Oh, you know, Okinawa? Yeah. I have a station on Okinawa. I'm so excited. Your wife's talking to you. They're starting to get aggressive about that US group on the They're rising up now. They've been doing that for a long time. I've been mad too. It's got worse. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Well, Japan, they're in change of constitution. They're a war. They're a lot of, you know, going the offensive again on warfare. Yeah. So. A lot of things are stirring up. The main thing stirring up is Russia. Russia has a whole lot of missiles. That's China claiming the whole South China Sea. Oh, yeah, that too. Zach, that's going to set it up. And China's uh, formed an alliance with Russia. Oh, China and Syria decided. Uh, China, Russia, Russia was just having a war game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Russia just signed with Iran to hit us like an air base here. This is all neat. This is the Lord gathering the troops for the great wonderful land. Oh, North Korea. Well, they threatened to do America every other day. They don't think they, they want to take North Korea down. And they, they don't like the states being free. Loose before 
angels, which are bound in the great river of Euphrates, and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year for the slave third part of men. And you can see that's where all, all the turmoil is over here. It said the third world comes. See, the first two worlds already came. The World War One and World War Two were terrifying. It's just nightmare. It's just hell on earth. Joel the second chapter. Boom. 
That's the clearest vision of the new city. You know what I mean? It's gonna be beautiful. When that fire hits and that fire starts spreading, it don't stop. You can't stop it. Like, jump out like, stop. Nah. They ain't gonna listen to you. It's gonna keep moving and keep, it's gonna eat everything in its path. I mean, the fire is just gonna eat and consume everything. Yeah, no, two and one. Well, two and one. Well, you the trumpet in Zion sounding the alarm in my holy mouth. Ain't that what we doing? We out here sounding the alarm. We out here blowing it. Blow the trumpet don't mean come out here with an actual brass instrument. Yeah, that's what Parazza is. That's Parazza right there. This is where? It's right there. Yeah, I thought. This one. I told you what it was. That is. That ain't him? No, that ain't him. Yes, it is. It just look like him. That ain't him. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> that ain't him. Yes, it is. <laughs> Baby, it says so. Nah, that is him. There's no way that's him, bro. He can't. That is him. That's got to be him. But that's a doppelganger. He got to, man. I, I, that looked just like him. Cause I see he came up and I looked at him. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, that's him. That is him. What's the most like person? I that's what I was thinking. I got to do the I should just yell his name out, but I didn't want to mess up our discussion. What I did. Cause that old dude sound like he was studying some uh, history, bro. I mean, that old dude like that. What's up, bro? You telling bitches you fuck my baby's mom, bro? I kill you, pussy nigga. Fuck wrong with you, bro. Let me hear, bitch. Let me hear you. Hear my motherfucking baby mom name in your life again, bitch. I kill you, pussy. Fuck you talking about, nigga. The white bitch on Hamilton, nigga. I kill your bitch ass. Let, let, let me hear my baby mom in your mouth again, bitch. I kill you, bro. Fuck you talking about, hoe ass nigga, bro. You a bitch, nigga. And you fuck niggas on the low. You fucking bad. Nigga, let me hear something again and I'm gonna kill your bitch ass, nigga. Straight like that, nigga. Fuck you talking about. You fucking bad, nigga. You fuck niggas on the low, fuck boy. Hey, get that scripture on my door. You said what? Shut up. What's up? Oh, my nigga. What's up, nigga? Let's get this work, bitch. Fuck you talking about. Fuck you talking about, fag ass nigga. You a fucking fag nigga, that's what the fuck you is. I get out of the fucking bitch on the You a fucking fag ass nigga. Let me hear you. I'm gonna beat your ass. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? And I want one, nigga. Alright. What the fuck you talking about? That's the spirit of the Lord. Listen, listen. That's the spirit of the Lord. You fucking these niggas out here bragging like you fucking hoes. Fucking bad. Whatever. Leviticus 20 10. And the man that committed the adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed the adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulterer shall surely be shut. Yeah, that's how the Lord is. shot this bitch up, bro. Proverbs 6, I'm going to start at 29. Uh, so he that goes in 
to his neighbor's wife, whosoever touch her first shall not be innocent. A man do not despise a thief that if he still satisfies so when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore seven folk, he shall give all the stuff to his house. But whoso committed with adultery with a woman like an understanding, he that doeth it destroyeth his own son, a wound a wound in dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Now you see that jealousy, that rage, didn't you? So he will not regard any ransom, either where he rests content, though thou givest many gifts. <laughs> so that's not to fuck around with, man. So he can look here, man. He can have my car, man. The rage is still there. Look, I'll pay you back, yeah. Can't get rid of it. I felt the same. Yeah, I felt the same way. I wanted when I found out, you know, my baby mama and she was doing this shit. I wanted to kill her and everybody, you know, the in the vicinity. You wanna go kill her and him. Just like Leviticus 20 and 10 said. Everybody's holding the rock. That's why I you don't never get over it. You never get over it. That's your star. Yeah, it's a star. Right. It don't go away. Like you get shot with a This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 9. Sit not at all with another man's wife. Nor sit down with her in thy home. Thy court inclined unto her, and so keep thy desire, and thou shalt fall into destruction. Yeah, because you see what happens, bro. They know that woman gets some wine and some pick up in her man, she's gone. She's going to go out. Exactly. What happens to you? That's why you can't be you can't be trusting your woman either. If you got if you got your woman, you can't trust your woman. She's gonna be like, oh, I'm just gonna have a girl's night out. You know, that's how they be getting you. Okay, see what happens. Hey, that little nigga, man, that his woman moved the nigga from New York City and told and he and she told him, oh, it's my cousin, and having hard times with the help of It was her other nigga. Oh, hell no, it's her you know? cousin. Yeah. And his dumb, simple-minded ass. That's crazy. Cousin or not, he's my favorite. <laughs> Cousin, brother, uncle. That's trifling as hell. Hey, dude, I can see it too. I can see him doing it too, man. I know, because I know how they operate. He got shame on his face too. And you know how everybody found out? She started telling everybody because they fell out. She wasn't, you know, you had passion and anger. She started just talking yeah. to everybody. You know, that's I'm talking why, to everybody, man, telling their business, man. That's why the scriptures say, I'm gonna get that scripture, man. If you, you still came back. That's why you can't, another reason you can't tell no woman that all none of your secrets are done. None of your business. We can still work this out, baby. Oh, yeah. You should. It says Proverbs 31 and 3. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. You know what I mean? Because you're not supposed to, like, you got a lot of people, they hand all the whole household finances over to the woman. Hey, woman they get check, they're checking in the right Yeah, the woman's balancing the checkbook and all that. the same shit. The same shit. Oh, yeah. The same shit. These women hate a nice nigga, man. They, they hate do. a nigga that's no longer with you. These women hate that shit, man. Right? They uh, laughing at you behind their back. You know? Like he a bitch. He's stupid. Oh, yeah, he's stupid. Say, he's stupid. Yeah, he's stupid. Just talking <laughs> shit all the time. Disrespectful, all out of order. Checking in to him. Baby, I'm here at this hour. Yeah, you're like, yeah, checking I'm, in. You know, I'm here, baby. I'm here every checking in every so often, man. I'm like, what the fuck? It's like, what am I, 10 years old? Is that real? 
Throw your ass right outside the house, man. Get the fuck out of here. If you let bitches go do what they want, they'll, they'll tear the whole house apart. That day they start breaking all the dishes and they start going nuts. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. You're supposed to let them just do whatever they want. Genesis 3, 6, woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband. He shall rule over them. Yeah, so the husband's supposed to rule over the woman. That's the proper order. And no woman, it's talking about we in a, we in a partnership. Uh, we, we're a co, what do they say? We're co equals? How do they yeah, say 50, we're equal? 50, 50, they know 50, 50. 50 it's a hundred, it's a hundred, yeah. A hundred zero. 99.9. Like, you supposed to call me Lord. <laughs> Lord. I mean, bang the man. We got, as men, we got responsibility to the woman, too. That woman needs, she needs to dig down. We can't make, we yeah, can't no, you got to. You got to. If you don't want to do that, there's something wrong with you. Right. You got to dig her down, boy. You got to dig her down right now. You got to handle it. Like that's that one. That's what keeps that kitty cat fresh. Marinating. You know, that's why you need one with you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, she's a, she's oh, that man. Man. Oh, the good guy you want from. You need to know what I'm from. 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 I'm they, they take it as a badge of honor that they ate it while it was bleeding. Uh, that's nasty, man. Yeah, they got to get it. Yeah, that's the way they do 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 it. I was watching interviews uh, on uh, YouTube with porn stars 
talking about how they still shoot. They do still do the videos when they're on uh, we're on their on their period. Mm -hmm. And they said they take uh, the makeup sponges that come with the makeup, mm -hmm. and they stick one of those all the way up in there. They said it stops the bleeding doing during the shoot. But then they say a lot of times that the actresses they forget that they put it in there, and, and they stay up there for weeks, and then it starts smelling like death. And then they got to go to the doctor to have it removed. I can't. I, but they said it's very common in the porno industry yeah. that it happens all the time. They always forget. The video I seen, they pull one out and it's black. Uh, it's yeah, black. that's how it be. Yeah. It's black. It's a video. Yeah, that's nasty. I see that. It, I was crazy. I see that people all. They was all testifying about the worst thing they smelled. And the dude said one time it was so bad everybody had to leave the room. They said they couldn't even finish the shoot. And they already some nasty motherfuckers to do. That just unspeakable shit. And they couldn't take it. It was too, too much for them. People with no morals couldn't take it. Yeah, too much. They, they, had, they couldn't take it. Yeah, they said it. I heard, yeah, I heard him talk about that too. They said it just happens all the time. And then they'll just they'll loosen it up and then everything just comes out. Yeah. Yeah. They won't show that. But well, some people like that though. That's nasty, man. I tell y'all people, that's all Jake's up in the movies too, man. Five, West Fifth Avenue, oh, downtown. That, hey, that's why you get on, uh, if you get on Lexus, get on Lexus.com, you can look up all the top websites on the internet. And half of the top 100 websites are on porno sites. The most visited websites in the, in the world. That, that's how our people are perverse, foul, filthy nation. That's how people are filthy. So if your woman's been with more than one man, she's unclean. That's been tainted. That's tainted soil. That's polluted. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know what. I don't even know if that's a human. Shit, that might be a goddamn goblin. Hey, let me get this. Hold up. I got it. Oh, he gone. We got to wait till he turn back around. Cause yeah, cause yeah, the royal families. If your daughter wasn't uh, a virgin, you was no good to the other royal family. You, you know, back in the ancient world, the old school the way it was, and you wanted to form alliances with the, your families. You you give your daughter to them to marry. I mean, if they didn't, would not accept a woman who was not a virgin. She had to be a virgin. 
If she wasn't a virgin, she'd be, she was worthless. When it's Israel, painted. When Israel used to do it. Yeah. That's that was something you were You know, you got to be a virgin. That's why we're supposed to spiritually prepare ourselves as virgins, not to be actual virgins. But there's no such thing as a man virgin anyway. Like you, how, how can a man lose his virginity? It doesn't it make any sense? It's not like that, that's, that's a woman. Only a woman can be a virgin. You know what I mean? There's no such thing as a man virgin. That's madness. That man virgin. That doesn't sound right, does it? No. That's stupid. No. <laughs> I got a scripture though. Uh, and yeah, how was uh, this? Is, uh, yeah, I ain't fucked. <laughs> yeah, I got a scripture. Uh, Luke nine and forty one. Yeah, how was I answer it said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and suffer you? Bring, bring thy son hither. You know, the Lord said our people, they're faithless and they're perverse. You know what I mean? You see it. Right. Oh man, it's time to go. He's a character. He's gonna walk right by and watch. No, I don't know. He's gonna say something. I don't know. He just don't know that guy. I'm trying to predict it. That's not funny. Hey, yeah, he said we're in the kingdom right now. This is the kingdom, bro? This is the kingdom. I got the couple. Yeah, this is the kingdom, bro. I'm out of this mother. This is a queen. This ain't. This is a queen. That's what this is. Oh, man, this is the kingdom? Oh. Oh, shit, we're gonna get a copyright by the <laughs> They play music in the background? No, they just threatened to delete our channel. But yeah, I got a message. They threatened to delete our channel because somebody played their fucking music in our video. A car came up, played the music, and now they claim ownership of our video. And they, and they, they, threatened, they said if the copyright shit goes through, they're gonna delete our channel. Yeah, just for people coming up playing the music in our video. They, they claim ownership and they get ad revenue on our video. And that's some fucked up package. That's some bullshit. So I straight challenge that copyright. They, they ain't got no claim over that, you know what I mean? Like, that's dumb as hell. That's an Esau's faggot ass shit, man. That's another reason this devil got to go. But they copyright. How you boy on the bus now he gone. And when you do say it was a white bitch too. How do you think you feel so much? You, you fucked your girl, man. Hey, do you, you really deserve to die over there? For real, it's like straight up. I thought he was gonna get his ass. I'm surprised. That's like I'm not just not not to hold your back. Did you heard how loud your boy was? We got it all on video. It's right on there too. That's the spirit of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, he come like a thief in the night. The judge, he thought everything was all great. It's just the beginning. That's just right. It's just the beginning. He, that dude, he going, he going to end up dead. Nah, that was just a warning. And he see it came out. His judgment came out in the middle of the. But we was teaching the word. And we was just talking about the nasty ass. And these adults. And this perverse ass nation. Our people is perverse, man. 
no, no, no. You can just look at him. He's ready to kill him over. Like he had to take up for his, you know, protect his wickedness. I'm for real, man. I don't praise him. That's a gift. That really is a gift. You only come out with just streets and prophesy yeah, because yeah, we bring the spirit to what we don't do nothing. The Lord has us out here stirring the spirits up. If, if we put that righteous vibration out there, that's that's part of that righteous vibration. So the Lord got us out here. If there's two or three to gather together in the name of Yahweh Shai, the Lord's right here in the midst of us. The Lord's Spirit is out here right now. If we got the Holy Spirit out here with us, bro. That's why every time we come out here teaching, you see the demons and the spirits, they all start getting riled up. You know what I mean? Some people will start gnashing their teeth. People will start howling. They'll start screaming. Fight to break out, and there's all kind of madnesses. You know, it's like a portal open. <laughs> right. Job 20, uh, 34, 25. For his eyes are upon the ways of man, and he seeth all his evil things. There is no darkness, nor shadow of death, where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. Yeah, because they know how it is. <laughs> you know how you boy thought he was scot free, didn't he? <laughs> they thought he was scot free. <laughs> He was in the clear. He thought he, had thought he was in the clear. I made it out of there. Nah, bro. You ain't make it. Hold on now. For he will not lay upon man more than right, that he shall enter into judgment with the most high. He shall break in pieces mighty men without and set others in his steel. Therefore he knoweth their works, and he overturneth them in the night, so that they are destroyed. He striketh them as wicked men in the open sight of others. <laughs> that was quiet. That was good. Hey, you got to read that one again. That's bad, ain't it? Right. Therefore he knoweth their works, and he overturneth them in the night, so that they are destroyed. He striketh them as wicked men in the open sight of others, because they turned back from him and would not consider any of his ways. Yeah, they, yeah, they don't consider the ways of the world. This is Job uh, 34, and... Uh, that part is in 26, 34 and 26. You know, like I said, we out here in the open, we, in, we come in the name of the house, but shouldn't your shot. So we stirring up them still, their spirits. Yeah, their spirits are getting stirred up. Whenever truth is there, Satan's right there too. Yep. Whatever dominions he got with him, Satan and his dominions. All right, yeah. We call goblin, goblins, goblin demons. There's all kind of crazy demons, man. There's all kinds of and they love doing the bidding of the Most High, man. The Most High made a demon to do all kind of wickedness. They, they, they love doing the bidding of the Most High. And getting this person's mind, let me get this person's mind and put that child in a microwave up. You know? And the people are defending that woman. Ah, oh, you don't know what she been through. You know? It's that demon that's been introduced to her. You know? Wisdom of Solomon covers a lot of those demons and spirits and apparitions. You know now, man, that a lot of these demons are getting spurred up everywhere on the internet. There's videos of people catching actual spirits, man. You know, more and more. It's more and more now, man. These demons are starting to awaken. People are seeing more and more demons. I, I, I got a you scripture know? for that, too. A house was haunted. They called the house a poltergeist. Yeah, and these poltergeist. people said, I'm getting that. This is just the other day. The people said, I'm getting the hell out of that house, man. That's why they be playing. They got videos all on YouTube people playing with Ouija boards. Oh, that's crazy. You know, doing all that's real, shit. too. That works, yeah. too. Yeah, everybody, everybody did that before. Ouija board, yeah. I and, and then the funny thing, they sell Ouija boards at the store. 
And it's in the children's section. The toy section. It's in the toy section. So they here it is, they selling witchcraft tools to your children in the store. Ouija board, that's straight but witchcraft. Sorcery. That's necromancy. The scriptures say a necromancer is supposed to get put to death. Look, Mark 6 and 7. And he called unto him the twelve and began to send them forth two by two and gave them power over unclean spirits. So we got power over these spirits out here. Because when we come out here, these spirits, they start bugging out. They start howling, gnashing in their teeth. We just curse them out in the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? And a lot of times the demons just shut the hell up and they go away. Yeah, what does it say? Uh, resist the devil and he shall flee from you. It's like the Lord commanded the, the, the demons ask him. The Lord commanded those demons to go to the swan. Yeah. Oh, shit. Praise the Lord for that one. Well, I got to get how about some of y'all shot. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, the noise of a fool is irksome. What scripture? I'm going to get that, man. I got to get that scripture. Because when you, you can't, we don't even want to hear the talk and the speech of a fool. Hey, that's irksome, man. That affects your spirit. You trying to hear it, man. That's a word too irksome. I get it, irking. That's just something a word Jake would use. Like, hey, I'm irking me, man. It's fucking irking. Ecclesiasticus 27 and 13. The discourse of fools is irksome, and their sport is the wantonness of sin. You know what I mean? We get irked. It's too much, man. Okay, so, you know, they, she, she be beautiful without all that. You know, you don't even need all that madness. All these tattoos. Why why women will get all these tattoos and stuff? They're already fine as hell. You just need to fucking dress properly. And act like you got some goddamn sense. But that's not going to happen. That's why y'all going to eat those missiles. You know what I mean? Y'all going to be destroyed. <laughs> if you, they, they too, they ruin a perfectly set of good titties and put tattoos all over them. It, it, it takes the, the taste. It's like that ain't, they look tasty no more. Before they was beautiful, and then you ruined them. And then uh, they get their ass tattooed. Like, man, that ass was beautiful, then you ruined it. You went, why'd you gotta ruin it? I don't even get it, man. They sit there, they, they defile themselves. It's beautiful. They, you don't need to go messing with it. Then they get their clits pierced. Like, who wants to lick that? Not me. If someone, she's freaky enough to do that. What else has she done with that? that? Uh oh. Got him. Ah, oh, they done had some. Like, I bet. What, her picture is probably beautiful in her picture. I mean, No, I'm saying because it's always on their picture. They, they, they get that perfect picture. Or some old picture. Or some old ass picture. Yeah, you, if you see a bitch had the same profile picture for five years, ain't changed that picture yet, boy. Hey, you know that. Yeah, uh, I can't. You got. It's hard to stay focused out here. But I, I just seen a. I just seen multiple dying pieces out here. You got. That's Satan coming through trying to distract you. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta. You gotta rebuke that lust. Go ahead. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Well, read that again. And the seventy, well, Luke, Luke 10, 17. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Yeah, even the devils are subject to us by the Lord's name. What's the Lord's name? Jehovah Shai. You, I, you see fools come out here that be like, I rebuke you, cleanse spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. But like you do came out one day trying to throw some oil on us. Oh, yeah. He tried to, and then his, all his oil was gone. It was that he was a run out. 
plane backfired out. They had no oil. A lot of these fools, they mostly still got no oil. You know what I'm saying? It's like they got Android phones and they got iPhones, but their battery's dead and they lost their charger. They can't even check their messages. You know what I mean? They trying to, like, they're trying to ask if they can borrow our charger. Hey, bro, let me truck borrow your charger, bro. My phone's dead. Like, nah, you can't use my charger. That's my charger. Yeah, let me get some juice. Nah, bro. Go get your own charger. Where, where would you? Yeah, what'd you do with your charger? Can't have my charger. You know, we speaking parables. We ain't gonna break it down either. This is a weird day though, man. Yeah, that's why you get you get caught cheating on someone's wife, you know, fucking someone's wife. Don't be all surprised when you get your head gets blown off with a shotgun. Right. I mean, you deserve that. That's a just punishment. I got a scripture that precepts. Hebrews 13 and 4. Marriage is honorable. Look at these fucking muscles, man. Hebrews 13 and 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. You see a bed undefiled. Ain't all these beds out here and all these homes, all these beds have been defiled. All of our women have been defiled. Okay? We living in a curse right. We living in hell right now. All of our women, all of our people are adulterers, adulteresses. You don't know where your wife's been. You will work. You don't know what's going on at home. Your wife, she got to work so y'all can survive. She going to work. You don't know what she's doing to work. Everybody don't hitting know, on don't, 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 How much you think we got that bitch in check, man? Nah. You know? Yeah, I got my bitch in check. That bitch ain't doing nothing. Yeah, oh, my wife, she, she's not like that. She would never. Okay. Maybe she's not like that, but, but somebody's going to make her like that. Right, somebody's going to just keep hitting on her so much or flirting with so much she can't resist it. They might put something in her drink. Yeah. Loosen her up, you know what I mean? They drink a little, like you said, one little one little beer, a glass of wine, and then, you know, a woman, she's willing and hey, she's going to do whatever. That's all it takes. That one little sip and she's gone. This is Salon 26 and 25. Oh, they sh Twenty-six. A woman that honored her husband shall be judged wise of all. But she that dishonored him in her pride shall be judged of all. A loud crying woman in the stove shall be sold out to the rock of the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, our enemies, our enemies hate the Israelite woman, though, don't they? Especially the Judite woman. No, nobody like the Judite woman. Cause she's too goddamn wild and crazy. Nobody want to be around that, man. Hey. Bitch all yelling and screaming, acting all manly all the time. A woman coming out with a bold spirit. And then you, I be seeing like uh, the police shooting. Anytime you see somebody start getting shot, like on camera, you know the woman's all proud and bold talking shit. Like, get them motherfuckers, get them. Oh, and then as, as soon as the gunshots start popping off, she's the first screaming, oh, oh my God, oh my Lord. Just scared, scared out of her mind. Just screaming uncontrollably. 
Yeah, they gonna keep going out there with their, with their kids, man, on these demonstrations. Yeah, protest. Yeah, they gonna keep going there until, you know. Yeah, they all hard and bad, and right. big and bad, talking all that shit. Right. But as soon as the cops or somebody starts shooting, they the first one screaming and crying. That's why a woman ain't got no business out there like that. Right. It's that day coming, there's gonna be a giant fucking massive demonstration across yeah. America, and all, all hell gonna break it. Yep. Bitches out there holding their kids. And, and they gonna get, and the bitches, they gonna get mowed down. Black power, black power. Right, because you're going to have some good old boys come out and cut sooner or later on one of these. Sooner stores. or later. They're going to come out and they're going to start spraying. <laughs> That's what we're saying. What's it happening? I think in Canada, somebody they was on the street acting like niggas and somebody ran them over and they were right. shooting at them. Right, right, right. Watch, this is going to be a big one, though. We're going to watch another riot or some pops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody, coming. somebody going to lose their mind. They're going to start shooting, it's bro. Coming. It's coming. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. It's coming. That's why we're gonna keep on watching. Cause you, I be seeing them post all this shit all the time. We talking about we locked and loaded, ready to go. Ooh. You know what I mean? That's what that's a famous, famous saying. We locked and loaded. Like I dare you to come to my house. They love to talk shit. I was reading on the government website the other day how they tracking all these this rise of these extremist groups, man. That's getting ready for. This yeah, they get. Thing. They've been getting ready for years. They're monitoring. And years. They said they're monitoring all of them, man. So they know what's coming. That's why they say gun sales is at an all-time high. You, you got, man, you got these people, they they, stack, they stock it up. They're getting ready. You got preppers out here. You got preppers. They've been prepping. You know, they got a word for these people. They call, they prepping up. They got MREs. They got food. They got 50 cows. I mean, they got ar they got full armories, bro, yeah, ready yeah. to go. That's the same thing playing, man, because he knows. I mean, he just set people and he's up. He's setting them up. It's gonna be a massive blood, blood battle, and, and then the military is gonna come in, declare martial law. And they gonna start microchipping people. They're like, we're gonna lock this shit down, and they're gonna start microchipping everybody. And watch it. If you don't, if you don't take that microchip, you ain't gonna be able to eat. Soon, if you want to go to Kroger, if you want to get the EBT or whatever, or buy any food at all with the money you earn. You're gonna have to have a microchip inside your your hand or head, and if, without that chip, you ain't gonna eat. You ain't gonna eat. And watch, a lot of y'all got, especially these women, they got babies. They're not gonna let their babies starve, so they're gonna get chipped, and then they're gonna have all their children microchipped. Not that chip, you ain't gonna be able to drop that bus. No, no code. To get on the code bus, to pay for it, you gotta have that chip. <laughs> they already got the digital bus, but everything's digital already. You know what I mean? Soon everything's gonna be fully digital. They gonna do away with cash. There's gonna be no more cash. That way y'all can't evade taxes no more either. Oh, so if, soon without that chip, you won't even be able to start your car without a microchip. They gonna do away with all these old, all the new cars already got black boxes. If you buy a new car, that you know the government can turn your car off at any moment while you're driving, just shut you off. And, and they got the black box in your car that records everywhere you go. They've got a GPS tracking you, and even a listeners to everything you say. So they just lazy. They just lazy. They want to use them chips to open doors. To yeah, open, open doors. doors. It's just too much work pulling things out. It's just too it's, man, I'm sweating it's already. It's a damn shame. I'm you keep sweating already. Just and it's a these keys out. Turn it this And think about it. It's a damn shame. Why you got to have keys in the first place? Right, right, right. Because our people are no fucking good. If this was a righteous nation, you wouldn't even need keys for nothing. Some couple share cars. They want you to be for cars, you know? Why you got? I guess they got waste. Oh yeah, they oh, share cars. They'll figure out. I mean, well, I'm telling you, this couple, man. Married couples, they don't chip this compatible. Oh yeah, they, they probably is a way they're gonna do it. Link your chips together. You know, you got to sign up, and you know the government has to be notified. It's crazy. Revelation 13 and 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Yeah, so whoever takes that chip, bro, the punishment for that chip is death. Mm -hmm. 
if you take that, oh, but the Lord came to save everybody. Now, if you take that chip, he don't. It ain't no repentance for that either. If you take that microchip, there is no forgiveness for that. down with the beast and they showed their lion the allegiance to the beast you know what I mean so that, that's, that's being a traitor the traitors gotta get put to death yeah all of our people trust in the Pharaoh you know what I'm saying they trust in anybody but the Lord because really our people our people despise the words of the Lord they ain't tell I'm a Christian they won't read the scriptures they're like that's some bullshit you know what I mean? Okay, just rebellious, stiff necked people, man. Children crying. Bitch, bitch is straight, man. Who's gonna see my babies? Like nobody. They mean they're killing each other. Yeah. Starving. Yeah. Starving, yeah. killing each yeah. other. It's bitches, death, bitches man. getting raped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. quarantine diseases. Yeah, they, they're diseases. Cause these people don't cleanse themselves, man. No. And they, they're unclean with what they're eating, so their body, their immune system, they're all healed. And you gonna get them all together Ooh. like that? Ooh, man. I can see it too, that you be at the, yeah. they're gonna be yeah. at the camps with cholera breaking out, and fucking all kind of tuberculosis breaking yeah. out. Right. You get them all together, bro. Whatever the disease of the Lord is bringing. Yep. <laughs> They'll bring out new diseases. Where's that? Isn't that Deuteronomy when mentions unknown diseases? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's Leviticus 26. We used to read it a lot. and 21 if you walk contrary unto me and will not hearken unto me I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins I will also send wild beasts among you which shall rob you of your children and destroy your cattle and make you few in number can you imagine wild packs of pit bulls yeah they, they, they gonna be hungry too. Yeah, they snatch a child. Yeah, little babies and everything. Yeah. You see how the eagles swoop down the table? Yep, yep, yep. No, eagle swoop out of the sun sky, swoop the little baby up. Look, and your highway shall be desolate. And if you will not be reformed by me by these things, but walk contrary unto me, then will I also contrary unto you and will punish you yet seven times for your sins. I will bring a sword upon you that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant 
And when ye are gathered together within your cities, I will send the pestilence among you, and ye shall be delivered into the hand of the enemy. He's gonna send them get yeah, to seven times more. Hey, plus he's seven, seven times more plagues. You know what I mean? That's a all kind of plagues are gonna break loose out here. You see, they got that Vika bullshit popping out. They said in Puerto Rico, like something like one out of every ten people got it. Oh hell yeah, fuck the lumpers, man. I hate this goddamn city. This is a nation of filth. It's a city, this whole city is filth. I was, I was out of the country. I was out in the country. Uh, yesterday we was driving back. As soon as I came into Columbus, I just felt like a big piece of shit. You can, you can, you can feel it. When you out in the country, it's all nice. I mean, it's a beautiful country. As soon as you get back to the city, you just feel like a piece of shit. It's like, God damn, I'm back in this motherfucking place. It's all nasty and filthy. You know what I mean? You just feel miserable as soon as you get back up in here. Like, you're trying to escape up out of here. That's the only way you can do it. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 58. If thou wilt not observe to hear all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name. The, the glorious and fearful name. So the name of the Lord is glorious. And the Lord's name is not God. The Lord's name is not Lord. The Lord's name is not Jesus. It's Jesus, Jesus. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. Oh, he's gonna make your plagues wonderful. What, how, how can plagues be? That's gonna be a wonderful sight for us. You know what I mean? Wonderful. It's gonna be full of wonder. Those plagues, you gonna be wondering how the hell did something so terrifying happen to your ass? Yeah. You know, because it's a season to make people scared just to kill. Yep. So wonders, man. And the plagues of thy sea, even great plagues, and the long continuance, and sour sicknesses, and a long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the disorders. So all people are already suffering from the plagues. You're like, where that one time we had? Well, it tell you like over half, over 300 million people in America are infected with STD. You got and syphilis, boy, that ain't no joke, bro. And plus, they they said that new syphilis. And the new gonorrhea is worse than AIDS. They got they got gonorrhea now that done mutate. At least that block. What's that block? The block? No, that's a drug. Yeah, they can they can put that into the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they showing they're gonna do. Uh, uh, the crazy state. Yeah. The, the craziest. Yeah, they push it in the water. Is it there is stuck? There is stuck. The movie is that's a reality. That's reality. Well, you said they they uh people was getting diarrhea from drinking the public water. Yep. You heard this? Well, they already they tell you they openly tell you they put fluoride in it. And floor, uh, which is a corrosive element, but they then they said plus you can't fully because they use the same water that we shit in to drink. That's you know what I mean? I don't want to add any fuel to any flames. Just uh, I speak freely because I'm not. They give children fluoride. You know, it's in, it's in mouthwash, it's yeah. toothpaste, it's in medicine, it's in so many different things. The government will be government's going to portray it as uh, something good. You uh, said that it was a, it breaks down your immune cells. The most known, uh, going to say disease right now is AIDS, and it, uh, it breaks down your immune cells. So, Fluoride causes uh, mental retardation, actually. A, a study came out by Harvard University said it decreases the uh, I forget the exact percentage. I think decreases the I think the average IQ uh, 
It decreases the children's IQ by, I think it was like 5 to 10%. Ooh. Something like that. I, I don't forget exactly. You can look it up. Just Google Harvard fluoride study children, something like that. It'll pop up right first article. I'm just curious to see what you guys got here. I mean, if the people just be herded like cattle, bro. Where the supporters, moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of, well, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. No, what? Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written. And it's funny too, because you know, before America was uh, colonized by the so called Europeans, the, you know, the native and the habits, they didn't even have the common cold over here. So when the common cold hit, they just dropped dead from it. So that's all part of those curses. That's awful food. The nose passes blood. Yeah, you just snot totally pouring and won't stop. This is going to pay me for never feel that at all. No. We don't know the soul. Hey, that's in Revelation. No sickness. No more sickness. Three, where's the mouse? No, no. Even so, I shall not the plague. Even so, shall not the plague be slight to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. She look like a Pokemon. You got cats with cats. She got a Halloween house pillow. She cows playing or something. Yeah, because I saw it down here the other day. It was a bunch of them. You know, I can't remember that kind of place that had concerts that were beside it. Yeah. Down over the street. Oh, the pavilion? Or? I think that's it. Or is that down there? Was, no, no, it is down here, yeah. Two days ago. They was, yeah. Everybody was in makeup and all kinds of shit going to some concerts. Right? That's how people are like, they got the mind of children. There you go. Because it is like your ass right here. Three, Westbound Street, Georgia. Oh, oh, hell yeah, you know he a J. Check out your boy. Oh, your boy. Nah, the other dude with the tattoos. <laughs> it looks like he up to no good, you know what I mean? Because our people is up to no good. They always plotting and scheming on shit, man. They just plot and scheme and steadily. They like, what does the scripture say? They lie and wait. You know what I mean? They just lie and just wait to get your ass. Snake. Fucking trend. They come up to your house, you know, they're good friends with you. Then when you go to the store or something, they up in your house stealing your TV, going through your drawers. You know what I mean? That's exactly. That's why, yeah, because you can't. If some motherfuckers in for a drink, Hell no. Even if they come with a bottle, they're gonna They'll come in your house and steal a little petty bullshit. Stealing shit just to be stealing because they can't help it. It's just in that wicked nature just to be a fucking thief. You know what I mean? Wicked ass Israelites, man. You got no respect for Bro, we were all real, we really living in hell, man. This is really the fucking, the goddamn, this is the underworld right here, bro. We, this goddamn Gehenna, this goddamn Hades out here. Look at this shit, man. Loki's wife is the Yeah, this is Loki, that's his daughter. Yeah, well, that's right, his daughter. I don't think he ever had a wife. Actually, actually, I think he did, I forget the bitch of man. Probably had a couple of them. Yeah, cause this place is scary, man. This is a terrifying place to live. If you're born in this world and living out here in this city, you're cursed. You're just cursed. It is, it's a curse living out here. Uh, 
believes in the truth no more. You know what I mean? Because you got some people, they so naive. They come out teaching the word, they think they're going to wake everybody up. It's like, I'm going to wake everybody up. Hey, you ain't going to wake up shit. You know what I mean? That's why the scripture said that there's a, the angels rejoice in heaven over one sinner to repent. Now, this is a, it's an amazing sight to behold just for one person to repent. You know what I mean? It's amazing. Feel like you accomplished something. Yeah, you feel like yeah. You praise the Most High after that. 